you mix faith and works. That is, if you say, yes, I have to have faith in what Jesus has done for me, but I also have to add this or this or this or I'm not saved, then what you're saying is what really makes the difference, what really puts you over the top, as it were, what actually saves you is not what Jesus has done, but what, what you add, which makes you your own savior. This illustration might help. Mr. A asked Mr. B to make him a wooden cabinet because Mr. B was a great cabinet maker. Mr. A was a friend of Mr. Uh, Mr. B and Mr. A were friends and therefore Mr. B said, well, I better make this really good, perfect. So he worked and worked and worked on the cabinet till he got it to the place where it had been buffed and polished to perfection. He brought Mr. A into the workshop to see it and Mr. A picked up a piece of sandpaper and said, let me just add one little stroke. Mr. B said, no, it is finished. It's perfect. And there's no way to add to it without subtracting from it. Same thing with Jesus Christ's work, because when he died, he said, it is finished. There is nothing else to add to it. It's perfect. And if you add to it, you subtract from it. If you say, he did this, but I have to add this, that that you add becomes the real basis of your salvation and makes you your own savior. The Protestant reformers made strong biblical arguments that you cannot mix faith and works, that justification and righteousness and salvation must be through faith alone. I won't make any more of those arguments. I'll just say this personally. I couldn't live if that wasn't the case. I wouldn't have any hope unless I could get up every day and stand on the bedrock knowledge that my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. That's my only hope. Thank you.